Aloha. Uh, Anson Parker here to answer a few questions we've gotten from uh, enzymatictHC.com. Uh, first question comes from Dr. Chipakowski in Iowa. And, and this is a really pretty reasonable question. I, I give it to him on this one um, for stating the obvious, basically. Um, Dear Anson Parker, uh, why didn't someone smarter come along with this sooner? Um, there are a lot of smarter people out there, Dr. Chupikowski, and i got to give it to you. Uh, somebody smarter should have come along and put this together and wrapped it up into an ice patent sooner. Um, and there are probably going to be a few of them kicking themselves. Um, problem. The important part is that uh, why? Why didn't they put this all together? Well, because they weren't trying to. Um, main reason. Uh, most of the research that goes into cannabis genomics is actually trying to find the genes that make THC so that they can take them out of cannabis and, and have cannabis sativa that grows without THC in it, making it safer, allegedly, or whatever. Anyway, um, so you've got these labs working independently to break this chain, this enzymatic chain. Um, and the funny thing is, working together, uh, looking at all their independent work, you see how to put THC into anything. So not only did they you know, fail miserably, well, it, it, it's, it's a two-edged sword. They succeeded. Now they know how to take THC out of cannabis sativa. In doing so, they have now made it possible to put THC into anything else. That's the nature of the beast. It's a uh, So I hope that helps uh, Dr. Chupikowski in Iowa. Um, and uh, please, keep sending us your questions. These are great.